slain by hubris. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Grav. Those fucking <laughs> doom buggies are still banging around into the base. I hope that at some point they would uh, come out or something like that. Find their way out of the wall. Just a couple of bumps and then uh, everything would be awesome. But that's not the case at all. Luckily my turret's still active, everything's looking pretty awesome. I just need to find a little bit of poop. And then we can uh, power up that monster summoner, and I think that will be a, a nice grand finale. I just hope that it's uh, as grand as I think it's going to be. Because summoning monsters? Come on, dude, that's fucking awesome. Uh, I need to find some named insects, preferably. These little guys generally don't have uh, what I'm looking for. Nope, nope. A little bit of monster loot, but not enough. How about Mr. Vendroid? Are you the same Mr. Vendroid who was out of stock of everything that uh, could be halfway useful to me? I think so. Mmm, bag summon stim. Plasma. Mmm, got some plasma there, huh? That's pretty special. I think there's a... oh no. He's not as big as he looked. It's the perspective effect. I'm like, is that man as big as that house? No, they're just different distances apart. Wow. Brain. Good job, brain. I don't know why you did all this, brain. There's probably a reason for it, but I don't understand. We ain't we ain't cavemen no more. Why don't you evolve and upgrade or whatever? Get Windows 10 in my brain. No, please don't do that. <laughs> please, please don't do that. I'm still running Windows 7. I ran XP for fucking ever. And, uh, I have no regrets. I wish I could still be running XP, if you want me to be completely honest. But my motherboard won't have it! No, sir! <laughs> uh, doesn't look like there's anything over this way. That's a bummer. I don't know if it takes wood in order to summon the monsters. Hopefully it doesn't. Because I'm gonna do some flying. This jetpack eats up fuel, I tell you what. There is, a an upgrade, a job. We haven't switched jobs yet, so maybe I should do that just right quick and see if I can't uh, get myself some some redu reduced fuel costs. Oh my god, what's up with this rock? You're freaking me out, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Let's do a uh, pilot. Activate has its own level and experience points. That's true. Forceful shove from engineer. Shockwave scream from scientists. A scream of such shocking proportions it stuns every hostile around you. Obviously, I prefer the health gem, jet, health regen to that. Reverse fuel costs. This is what I want. Instead of paying for fuel, you get the fuel back. Very nice uh, skill from the pilot. Only thing that I don't have is uh, Engineer level 30, which is the Forceful Blast, but it's basically just uh, the, the Forceful Shove um, a little stronger. Oh, there's some, some action going on down there. Let's see if I can't get off this fucking rock. That's how I feel about Earth sometimes. Let's get off this fucking rock. Um, where was that Grokgar? I want to kill a T-Rex. tired of killing bugs, bro. All right, have a little snacky, a little snacky snack, and uh, it is getting dark, so we should be able to see the uh, named monsters a bit more easily. Most of them glow and things like that. So let's boot this shit up, and we'll hit the hit the Uber ability. No, I guess not. Well, we got a friend. Whoop. Seems like he has uh, a name, maybe. Tef Evigi? Evigi? What's your name? Mario Luigi. Luigi Mario. Alright. Uber is active. Let's get some fuel costs back. Hell yeah. Now we're doing the thing. And it seems to last for a good long time. The Uber abilities are super nice. I don't even uh, want to land. I see that T-Rex now, but fuck that. 
I'm getting fuel costs from my jetpack. My jetpack pooping out all this wood. Yeah, boy. That's how we do it. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the glow of some, uh, some uber creatures. There's a glow, but that's just a little, a little bomber. He's a bummer. Oh, we are losing wood now. So where's that T-Rex? Hey, buddy. What you doing over here? Shouldn't be over here. How many times I tell you? Just once. Once should be enough. Oh. Got this floaty behind me. Whoa, okay. Everything's fine. Yep. We're good. Look at that. No problem. Easy day. I got all this extra machine gun ammo, which is something that I'll probably never use. Submachine gun ammo, rather. There's a big boy. Who's a big boy? Who's gonna get shot by Dayton? You are. What's your name, big boy? Arctic Pickles, the hefty. Well, I hope you got some poop for me, Pickles. <laughs> I would really like to find a wealthy, wealthy Pickles, the hefty. But I should have known from the color that he would be Arctic. That's okay. He's got a spitting attack, which most of these other Grokars don't. They generally have to get in your face and shit like that. But this guy, even though he's arctic, he's like breathing fire. That don't make no sense. Putting a lot of rounds into him though. There we go. Down he goes. And no fucking... Ugh. No nothing. You're a fucking no nothing. No nothing. I'm gonna drop this. Um... Do I have more machine guns? Yeah. Submachine gun shits that I'll probably never use. Goodbye. Drop them down the hill. Huzzah. We're winning. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Um. Hopefully you got some poop for me. You know, bug poops are tiny. It looks like dust or something like that. You're just like, oh. Here's a poop. Here's a poop, I think. <sighs> You got cockroaches in your house because uh, it looks dusty everywhere, but it's different than dust. It, it looks more like dirt, to be completely accurate. How do I know that? Well, my house in Burbank had like a shit ton of cockroaches in it. At least for a little while. And I was like, hey landlord, what the fuck? Think I want to live like an animal? I don't. Fix this. And he complained and I'm like, well, this is what my rent is for. This is the reason that I pay rent, so I don't have to worry when the sink breaks. Oh, but most landlords are pieces of shit, you know? I understand what the Kennedy, dead Kennedys meant when they're like, let's lynch the landlord. You're right. We should. He doesn't even want to do his job. What an a-hole. Just avoid that. There we go. And no poop. No poop at all. I have to get rid of this other bomber before I engage that big glowy fella. Ooh, turret! Do the thing! He's fighting a named mob over there for sure. Yeah! Get fucked! Get fucked! These turrets are causing all kinds of trouble. Mmm. Very nice. I'll take that poop. Oh god, now we got enough. Help me, turret! Help me, help me, Tom Cruise! There we go. And another one down. Oh god. Stay away from that, though. Fucking bombers. Always sneaking up on me. I don't understand it, none. Maybe I could get enough to do, uh, two. Two summonings. Two summonings at the same time. Wouldn't that be something? Oh. I guess they uh, killed that glowy guy. He was a bug just like you. Have you no soul? And they're like, no, bro. I'm a bug. What'd you expect? Oh, God. You have three seconds to get away. Okay, I did. Don't worry. There. Lefty the squirter. Don't squirt on me. 
I'm sure I'm not going to enjoy that none too much. Oh god. Every time. Every time with these fucking people. God. I'm just trying to collect some poop. Make my life happy. Alright. Are you almost dead? Could you die soon? They always take a little while. Oh, there's some more poop. Wonderful. Let's fly over this way. My base is somewhere over here. Now is my uh other turret out of out of ore? No, it's got seven ore. I wonder how much how much ammo does one ore give to the turret? Because I think it started out with like 9 or 10, and it's lasted this long, so I'm pretty impressed, to be quite honest. Let's get rid of Snarflox the Jealous. Get out of here! You get out of here! You don't belong! Should put up a wall. Make a giant fence. Yeah. There you go. Get some turret action. Turret up in your ass! Alright. Now let's, uh. Oh, yeah, it's on the roof. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's summon some monsters. Oh, I don't need to fly. Yes, I do. Yes, I fucking do. Okay, so, uh, we've got tech hunters, giant birds, robo enemies. Oh, god. I think those are the explodey bomb people. Guardians. No, the bombers are the bombs. What's a robo enemy? I don't, I don't know what that is. I'm unfamiliar. Raptors, yetis. Ooh, yetis. That looks interesting. I'm probably gonna know what it is when I see it. Oh, it takes a shit ton to summon that one. What the fuck? So we can do slimes and bug dogs. We could do flying bugs as well, but I'd rather uh, get both of these if I could. Is that working? Are we doing it? Can't do two summons at the same time. That's fine. It's shooting out a beam. Where's the beam going? What's this beam, bro? Oh, there's a bug dog. Hey, buddy! How you living? Oh, you're not? That's a shame. Well, it seems my monster summoner is working. But I don't know if it's actually working. Or it just seems that way. Oh, fuck! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, stop beating up my turret, dude. Think that's cool? It ain't. Sunstone leggings! Tried to defuse the bomb. I failed miserably. That's about how it goes sometimes. But what a lovely day. What a day. What a lovely, lovely day! Oh, there's some more bug dogs. They're finding their way over here. I guess, yeah, it uh, beams a thing over here, and then the bug dogs find the beam. They are attracted to this simple beam. Who would have thunk it? I was hoping it would summon a lot more than just, uh, just two or three. Maybe it only finds the ones in the vicinity instead of, uh, making a whole shit ton. But I was hoping it would make a whole shit ton. I'm a little disappointed. Oh well. What can be done? Must be something can be done. It be what it be. Let's summon some pets. That always makes me feel better. Hey, little EXP booster pet. How you doing today? Oh, yeah, pretty good day, you know. I just, uh, kind of disappointed by the monster summoning thing. And I'm like, yeah, dude, me too. Yeah, I feel that. I thought it was going to be like an awesome thing, and it turned out to be a, a not awesome thing. Oh, there's uh, another bug dog, though. Might as well clean up the ones that we got, right? I mean, he's here. He's here! 
Doesn't do shit. Not really. How about blowing up these doom buggies? It does no damage. No damage at all. Do I need like a larger, larger bullet or something? Is that what I'm to understand? Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Oh, they're, they're still coming. How long does this shit last? I thought maybe they'd attack my base or something, at the very least. Nope. They don't do shit. They're just hanging out. I shot my turret a little bit. Better repair that. That's how we do. No bug dogs. Just regular dogs. Fucking dogs. I love dogs. Only if they're my dog, though. <laughs> Other dogs? Fuck those dogs. I don't like them. Not my friends. Constant interruption. I don't know if you can even hear it. There's a, a large lot next door, so... Sometimes they go to the, the other end of the lot to bark, which I do appreciate quite a bit. But sometimes they're they're right under my fucking balcony, and I'm like, oh, if I just had one pipe bomb. <laughs> but, you know, dogs, they, they probably wouldn't learn from that. They'd be like, well, that was a weird thing that happened for no reason. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to get 200 more poops in order to uh, get some of these flying insects because it seems we're mostly surrounded by the flying insects. So, if my theory proves correct, then uh, we'll get way more insects than we had bug dogs because there's not there's not a lot of bug dogs around here. I think if we summoned grokars, there would be basically nothing. Tech hunters, there's a few. Bombers, there's a few. Uh... I'm not- I'm still not sure what the fuck a mechanical... Mechanical enemy is? Mechanical guardian? I know what the guardian is. It's not the mechanical guardian. I don't know. I don't know nothing no more. I used to think I knew some shit. And then I, uh, stopped being 16. I realized nothing that I know is true! Alright, gimme poop. Gimme poops! I just need 12 more poops, everybody. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't want to waste all these bullets. God. Who'd have thought it'd be so hard to shoot a giant fat ass? There we go. Nice and easy. Lay on down. Jesus. Take me quite a bit of ammo to get through that, boy. That's right, boy. Here we go. A little bit more? Why not? Why not? Makes me feel good. I like it. Ooh. Blazing Clorix is also a snarler. You're gonna die. Blazing Clorix, you're gonna die. Oh god. I steal your XP. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm so close to ranking up the, uh, the pilot abilities. That would be quite cool, would it not? Alright, let's uh, activate our ability. Then we'll hit the jetpack. Yeah! Get some of this wood back. Get some of this wood back, Jack! Yeah, look how close I am to leveling. Fuck. That's real nice. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to summon the uh, the bugs in the vicinity. Just because uh, it looks like this shit is still still actively summoning bug dogs. Which I don't know if I approve of. Um, um, please stop hitting me. <laughs> stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Maybe if I upgrade it. No, it takes a lot of organics to upgrade. And artifacts. Which I don't think I've even found any artifacts yet. And I need... Ah, uh, I need the second level to summon bugs. That's some bullshit. Well, I can summon some slimes. Summon some more bug dogs. Come on. Give me something. Give me something to work with. What the fuck, people? <laughs> oh, grav. 
I gave it a, a wide berth because it was a relatively new game and it was in early access and it seemed like it had a lot of promise. But uh, yeah, now that they've officially dropped it and they're like, this, this is good enough. This is the game that you get. This is the entire game. It's definitely not that great for single player. Multiplayer slightly better, um, but not by much, if you want me to be quite frank. Hello, consumer. So, Hello, if you're consumer. gonna buy Grav, I'd say wait wait for a, a pretty steep sale. Otherwise, you may be a, a little disappointed. Then again, Steam refunds are a thing now. I don't think I've bought a single game since Steam refunds became a thing. But, um, yeah. If I decide to, that'd be nice. It's mostly because, um, yeah, flash sales and the like like that, uh, became a thing of the past. Which made me really, really sad. So I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna buy much on Steam anymore. I'm gonna start, uh, shifting my, my money towards Green Man Gaming or something like that. At least they offer a bunch of shit. Even if it's not all something I want. Deployable Wingsuit Plus. What? Allows for faster flight. Dude. Why would you why would you save this from me until just now? Well, I guess there's uh there's gotta be some reason to keep going. They need to keep luring you to other planets and things like that. But uh yeah, as I said in the last episode, I think that's basically it for Grav. It's been a good run. We did quite a few episodes and uh in those few episodes we got a shit ton done if you want me to be completely honest we even got to uh some new planets and stuff like that but is it uh is it worth it i'm not completely convinced ah uh, i would like to see quite a bit more added but um i don't know if that's ever gonna come that's not a given because yeah they bit monster has decided that this is the game that we get and while it's it's got some merit to it, it's definitely not uh, at the top of my must-have wish list or anything like that. It's a nice attempt, you know, but um, is it going to beat Rust anytime soon? <sighs> no. <laughs> definitely not. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Quite a shame. But, um, yeah, I guess I could have seen it coming. It's hard to uh, to beat to beat uh, a game that's been in development for that long and uh, still is not yet finished. So maybe we'll start a playthrough of Rust at some point. I did uh, Rust Experimental, but a lot has changed in Rust since then. So it could be uh, an interesting thing to try and get back into. Probably again I'll do a, a low pop server or something like that because I don't like when uh, people fuck with me so much. <laughs> Which tends to happen quite a lot in Rust. You're just trying to do your thing and people are right there. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Grav. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. <laughs> Slain by hubris. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Uh, yeah, like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the series. Let me know if you'd like to see some more. Uh, we could possibly do some multiplayer action if I can get that to work. Um... But yeah, it's sporadic because of that Philippines internet. Oh god. <laughs> Anyways, friends, I definitely appreciate your support. Um, it's been an amazing ride thus far, and it will only keep going. So thank you for motivating me in just the right way. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next series. Uh, it's a mystery as to what that'll be, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them down below, and I will take them into some consideration. Once more, thank you guys so, 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 so much. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye!